Hey YouTube, it's Jonathan, back with a tutorial today. This is my best friend Jessie, she is modeling for me. We're doing a 50s inspired um, holiday party look featuring red lips and winged liner. I also want to say hello to all my new subscribers, and here's the look! So I'm going to take a little bit of transparent medical tape and tear this in half and place this on the outer corner of her eyes. This is going to give me a precise edge and also really help me to line up the wings and make sure they're even. For eyeshadow primer, I chose the Urban Decay Anti-Aging Primer Potion. I'm basically just applying this with my fingertips from the lashes all the way up to the brow bone. The eyeshadow palette that I'm going to be using today is the Vintage Escape Palette from Cargo. The colors I'm going to be using are Harvest Moon, Hot Cocoa, and a little bit of Chestnut. I'm just taking the lightest shade, Harvest Moon, and placing that all the way from the brow bone, um, and using it as a base all over the lid too. The next color I'm going to be working with is Hot Cocoa, and I'm going to start defining the crease with that a little bit and shading it up and blending it out to start creating the wing. Next I'm taking the deeper brown chestnut, and I am just adding a little bit of that to further deepen the contour, and then I'm going to take the Real Techniques Deluxe Crease Brush and soften all of the edges with that. Next I'm taking Bare Minerals Loose Eyeshadow in June, which is a cream glitter, and I'm placing that all over the center of the lid and into the inner corner. This is just going to brighten up the area and really give the eyes an old Hollywood look. For eyeliner, I'm going to be using the Smashbox Always Sharp Eyeliner in Sumatra, which is a dark brown color, which is actually a little bit more period than the general black liquid line that people use when they're doing vintage-inspired looks. This is really where that medical tape is going to play an important part in the look. It's going to create a sharp line and give you the cat eye that we're really going for. I'm just working this into the lashes and up the line and then taking a little bit of the dark brown color from the palette and setting that with an angled brush. After removing the tape from the eyes, I'm starting on skin and I'm using the Laura Mercier Foundation Primer in Radiance. I chose this foundation primer A because it's one of my new favorite products and B because in the 1950s women were using Vaseline on their skin before their makeup to give them a luminous glow, but I thought this was a little bit less of a greasy option. For foundation, I'm using the CoverGirl Outlast Stay Fabulous Foundation in 810 Classic Ivory. This is Jessie's own foundation. She loves it because it's full coverage and I thought it was perfect for the look. I'm just applying this with the Real Techniques Expert Face Brush and blending that in. Now I'm taking a clean stippling brush to further blend the foundation into the skin. For concealer, I'm taking the Dermablend Cover Cream, and I'm using my finger to blend this under the eyes and anywhere on the face that we need a little bit of extra coverage. And then I'm going to take the Real Techniques Expert Face Brush again and just smooth out the edges. Next, I'm taking the Wet n Wild Color Icon Bronzer in Reserve Your Cabana, and I'm using this as a highlighter on the high points of the face, just across the cheekbone and down the nose and across the forehead. And then I'm also going to take the Lorac Tantalizer Baked Bronzer, and I'm going to put this um, anywhere the sun would naturally hit her, on her forehead, down her nose, and across the cheekbones, and a little bit on the neck too, just to warm that area up. For blush, we're using the Essence Beauty Beats Blush from the Justin Bieber collection in shade 01, Groupie at Heart. I'm just patting this on to the apples of the cheeks and blending upwards and outwards. For brows, I'm using the Anastasia Brow Wisdom Ash Blonde. And I'm just defining the brows with this and extending them a little bit and really emphasizing the arch. This isn't exactly as period as other parts of the look. Um, in the 1950s, the brows would have been much darker than the natural hair color. And now I'm just taking a little bit of chestnut from the palette again on the angle brush and defining under the eye. For mascara, we're using the Maybelline Volume Express The Rocket Mascara in black. And I'm not doing anything special with this, we're just kind of putting it on but concentrating towards the outer corners. For lip liner, I'm starting with the Ulta brand Lip Pencil in Beat, and I'm just outlining the lips with this, following her natural lip shape, and filling the lips in with this, making sure to get the inner corners. And then I'm going to take the Ulta brand Lip Crayon in Glamour and go over that. Um, I really like the shade for the 1950s because it is an in-your-face red without being um, overly matte. I really like the glossy look for a party. I just had Jessie blot her lips so that I could go on with a second coat of the same lip crayon so that we could really set that in and it would last all night. Well, I hope you all enjoyed that tutorial. Thank you all for watching. Keep up with my Instagram and my Twitter for updates on videos I have coming up soon. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye.
this is the most luxurious item on my tag today. So I'm just setting that with a little bit of the gel. 